What's up guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel Retro Photo House. Today I'm happy to explain you fine details about famous Helios 44M lens. This is a not review but exhaustive buying guide of Helios 44M. During my work as a seller and repairer of Russian primes I've sold more than 1200 copies of this lens and I can pretend to know it very well. I will reveal all known versions of this lens from prototype to latest 1984 modification. So what is Helios 44M? In fact this is further development of Helios 442. One of the biggest changes automatic aperture control feature allowing lens aperture being controlled from the camera. Please take a look in my right hand I have Helios 442 and in left hand Helios 44M. First of all you may notice a different design. There is no aperture preset aperture feature as Helios 442 has, but there is a side switch for manual and automatic mode. How it works? For example, if the switch is in M position, if you turn the ring, aperture blades are moving immediately. But if you switch it to the automatic mode, Ring does not move uh, immediately aperture blades, but is some kind of pre-selected value. For example, you put on 5.6 and it's still open. And then when you release shutter button on the camera, camera is pushing the pin and therefore stopping down a lens to pre-selected by U value. This was very useful uh, in further development they need cameras such as they need TTL, they need EM and so on so on. So this is a big step forward compared to Helios 44 uh, 2 lens. And overall design is different. For example, focusing ring of Helios 44M is closer to the front of the lens. And in Helios 44 2 this is aperture ring, which is close to the front of the lens. Now in the era of digital camera auto mode became useless and you should keep the switch in manual position. So what are the technical specifications of this lens? Focal length is 58 mm, maximum aperture is f2. Aperture ring is moving with bolt clicks every time changing aperture value by half of the stop, you see. Focus ring moving from 0 0.55 meter to infinity and uh, it makes around it turns around 250 degrees so quite quite big movement i would say often you can uh, encounter un uneven move why because of the old grease because this lens is quite old uh, you can you can ex, ex, experience the bad bad movement of the ring, but this can be relatively easily fixed. You need to ap apply a new grease onto the internal threads. And my YouTube channel it has the video where I explain how to relubricate uh, this lens. This is a video tutorial. Please check it out. Very well built. It's sturdy built. It is heavier then Helios 44.2 lens, much less uh, uh, free place backlash um, on the mount and on the ring. So very good quality built gen in general. And uh, it is also heavier, it, its weight is 290 grams. And it has standard M42 mount. You can use it onto your digital a mirror DSLR or mirrorless camera via proper M42 your camera adapter. They are widespread over internet and cheap and it will work very very well. And uh, also uh, it accepts 52 millimeter filters. It has 52 millimeter thread. So this lens was in production for pretty long time. It was designed in 1972. It was in production from 1975, first prototype at this one. 
So we can say that this lens was produced from 1975 to 1984, almost 10 years on the three optical plants, KMZ plant, Belomo plant and Valdai plant. Many hundreds of thousands were built and this lens is pretty widespread. For example, let's take this one. It was made in 1981 and it is almost 100,000, the series, you see? So, and it is pretty widespread in the world, especially in ex-USSR countries. It is cheap and decent optically, therefore giving excellent ratio quality price. I gather it in one place for you all known versions of this lens, including very first pre-series copies, this one and this one. I will explain in, in details all the differences between them and I will show a few pictures using all of them to show how they perform. Please keep watching Retro Photo House channel. Now let's take a closer look on all versions of this lens one by one. Let's start from the very early production, for example, this one. So what do we have here? For example, you see the serial number, this is two zeros and serial number is on the front ring. From the beginning, it was on the front ring and afterwards it was on the side of the body. Uh, so what do we have here? This lens was in production on KMZ plant from the beginning and later it was transferred to another plant such as Belomo and Valdai. As you may see here the KMZ sign, the older version of KMZ sign. Uh, this prototype version can be distinguished of, of others only with one thing. As you may see here the two grooves, there is a ring with two grooves holding the front ring with markings on its place. This is only first prototypes you can you can encounter this uh, this particularity as you as you may see. And it has first version they have the focus ring a bit larger, a bit wider than the normal production. All the rest is more or less the same switch M42 mount aperture, values, focusing, ring with markings, filter thread and all the rest. This, this version we will call type 1. Okay. Another one, later, a bit later, you, you can see the one zero in serial number. And can, it can be distinguished from this one only with two holes on the front ring. You see? Here the front, the front ring with markings, it was fixed in place with a ring, additional rings with grooves. And here there is no such ring, but two holes to unscrew the front ring. All the rest is the same. The width of the focus ring is more is it is mm, it is larger than later production and you can see how it looks like this version we will call type 2 single coated glass now let's pass to type 3 type 3 this is a serial lens it was in serial product production you may see the serial number on the side. It was produced in 1976, sorry. Normal rings with two holes, old sign of KMZ plant and marking helos in, in Latin letters. And this and this, it was in Cyrillic, okay? So you can distinguish in this way. Made in USSR. Also, you may notice that the focusing ring became narrower. And this narrow ring, it will last till the end of the production. How here, how it looks like, you see? 
this is type 3 okay then in for very short period of time there was in production multi-coated version of this glass of this lens as you may see here is a single coated glass and here is a multi-coated there is MC marking it is quite rare rare version the KMZ plant the new sign you see this one is was built in 1982 all the rest is the same except multi-coated optics the width of the focusing ring is the same as type 3 has so this multi-coated helos marking is cyrillic it's a good lens but difficult to find and this we will call type 4 Also, very rare modification of Helios 44M. It is called, this is export version. It is called Auto Cosmogon. It was bundled with Cosmorex SE uh, cameras for export, only for export purposes. The serial number is on the front ring. Old KMZ sign. Details. What about detail? There is marking distance scales in feet aside from with meters. This is only one modification. This is type 5. This is only one modification of Helios. It shows the distance scale in feet and in meters. Very important detail. And it was in production for a short period of time to bundle the Zenith E export modification it was called Cosmorex and it was made only for export all the say all the rest is the same width of the focus ring short little width and it is quite rare lens also M42 mount and so on so on this as I said we will call type 5 so these five lenses type 1 type 2 type 3 type 4 type 5 they represent maybe i don't know less than five percent of the whole production those are quite difficult to find now we will pass to very widespread version so this is type 6 this is ordinary they were built in huge quantities. KMZ plant, therefore good build quality in general. Serial number on the side. Aperture scale in meters only. And marking in Latin letters. As you may see. This is type Fix. Also, this lens was in production in Valdai plant, as you may see here, the sign of Valdai plant. This is type 7. Latin letters, Helios. All the rest is the same. Side number, scale, all the rest is the same. But this sometimes here is worse quality of manufacture why because sometimes it suffers from the excessive oil on the blades you see and it moves diff in it is not smooth let's say valdai plant is famous for excessive oil on the blades of helios 442 also and here they put also excessive oil so as you may see here this is type 7 and type 8 this is Belomo in Belarusia it was made in Minsk Belomo made Helios 44M always marking in Cyrillic writings good quality of production side number scale is the same all the rest is the same. 
no excessive oil on the blades as you miss so these three lenses they represent 95 percent of all production overall so very very probable that you will buy on ebay or amazon or whenever else one of these three as you may see type 6 type 7 and type 8 so i've explained the major differences between all versions of this lens now i will pass to second part of my review where will you show i show you how every version is performing bokeh test overall picture quality test at wide open and chart test on the lens testing chart showing the sharpness on the edges distortion vignetting and all these more technical uh, things So to resume my video review, my exhaustive buying guide, I really love this lens. It is really sturdy build, good quality compared to Helios 44 II. It is 
just a piece of metal and glass. It will last for years. And among all the eight types, these types are difficult to find. This type 1, type 2, type 3, type 4 and type 5. Those are common. If you are able to, I advise you to get multi-coated helios. It's quite rare and a bit expensive, but in counterline condition it performs better. If you are not able to get the type 4, just ordinary KMZ made type 6 is very good choice. It just has a single coated glass, much cheaper than type 4, and deliver decent results. So I would say type 4, type 6, otherwise type 8 also very good one with Cyrillic writing. Some Sometimes people are searching for Cyrillic writings. Very good quality build, but this one is more hard to find than this one. Uh, Valdai made just I advise to avoid because of the grease on the aperture blades and overall quality is not very good as KMZ made or Belomo made. If you really care about markings, distance scales in fits in America, try to find export version of Helios 44M, but this one is also quite rare. So that's it. This is Retro Photo House. We are looking for you, for your satisfaction. Thank you for your attention. Goodbye.